really know the significance of the word duality. What does that mean? What does that really mean? See, right here, right now, purely conscious, purely aware, purely being. Yeah. Duality is not being experienced. Separation is not being experienced. There is no here, there, this, that, me, you, right, wrong, hate, love, blah, blah. Or another way of putting that yeah, is outside of mind, there's no such thing as duality. And the dualistic nature of the mind because of the way it operates then creates a seeming person and a seeming world and seeming experiences and all it does is make up stories. Why? Because its nature is to work dualistically. But outside of mind, there isn't any duality. But you've got to see that for yourself. I can say that. <laughs> I'm not for a second saying, just believe me. <laughs> We'll start another religion if I start saying shit like that. Believe me. Have faith in the guru. Trust me. Bullshit. Look for yourself. Look for yourself. Look at what's actually occurring for yourself. Does duality exist outside of the mind? Does it? You know, you can test the seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, and smelling. Set those senses, yeah? direct experience. Is the seeing saying that's separate and that's separate? Is the hearing saying, I hear a sound over there and I hear another sound over there? The touching, is the touching, the sensation of touch, is the sensation of, of touch saying, oh, this feels good? Does it comment? Taste. The sense of smell. Is it the olfactory that pipes up and said, God, that, that smells like dog shit? Uh, it's just mind, it's dualistic. Yeah. As a result, it creates seeming time, past the future. Is there a past? Seriously. Would it be fair to say a memory is the past? Like that's the past? That sounds a bit crazy to me. Is a memory the past?
remember mem memories, thoughts that just make stuff up. Because thoughts don't experience anything. Somebody, anybody sitting here right now, please present something to me from the past. I want to know if the past is real or not. Someone, I don't care who it is. How many of us are sitting there? Just a handful tonight. Just present something to me from the past. Whatever it was you were presenting, you'd be presenting it now. I don't care what it is. Whatever it was, you'd be presenting it now. Mind makes up a concept about the time, past, future. And then the mind's trying to find the now. You practice mindfulness. I need to, I need to, I need to be more in the now. I need to practice, I need to be more in the now. Jesus Christ, try not being in the now. Try not being in the now. It's not possible. It's always now. Just have a look, Matt. Just have more of a look, man. Just, just, yeah. Just see what's actually really happening. Would you say in every day there's there's sometimes there's more going on and there's less going on? Like say right now it's this moment there's less going on, so it's easier to be it's not easy to be aware, but it's easier for the mind to not be as active. Good. What's the cause of that? Stimulus. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you were my teacher and I was like, you need one more point to get across the line, you were like, fuck, mate, <laughs> just, just out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the truth. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We all know mm. it. We, we all know the truth. That's why we're attracted to this. We just don't know that we know it yet. But we all know it. That's why we're attracted to this. Is the truth applied differently in different moments? Is the truth. Everything is just happening. There's no doer. There's no individuals. There's no persons. There's no males. There's no females. There's no thinkers and no doers. That's the truth. The rest is just made up by the mind. Mm. See that. Please see that. I'm not saying, you know, see, there's no doers, there's no people, there's no individuals, blah, blah. The mind won't be able to get its head around that. It won't. What is it that's creating all these stories? I'm a male, I'm a female, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a good person, I'm a bad person, I'm, I'm an accountant, I'm a astronaut and father and mother and I'm an aunt and your kids and 
adopted kids. The whole story. What is it that's doing all of that? You're in the box seat. And your story is your story. No one's privy to it. It's yours. You just go there with your own. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> see. Just see. You already do know the truth. Everybody sitting here does. Just not awake to it yet. But that's what, but it's the knowing of the truth that keeps bringing you back, bringing you back and bringing you back to this. That that you're looking for, you already are. That that you want to find never went anywhere, it was never lost. Come to see what you're not. The only thing that could see that is the truth. The only thing that could really see that is the absolute hard core truth. Truth. What's actually really happening here? And instead, what we do, we take ourselves to be the mind. Yeah. And then, and then the mind goes off looking for the truth. <laughs> mind wouldn't know truth if, if it tripped over it. Wouldn't know truth if it was staring it in the face. Doesn't know. Just a big storyteller. Big storyteller. Thinks it knows the truth. It thinks it knows the truth. <laughs> Challenge it. Challenge it. Challenge it. For example, yeah. Gee, this was a really great talk. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna have a look at, I'm gonna have a much closer look at, at what Terry was talking about tonight. Who just said that? Challenge it. Challenge it. Who's gonna be having a look? Who's saying, oh, it was a good talk tonight? Like, challenge it. Seriously. Who or what said that? Did you say that? Or did the mind just say that? Just arose as a thought, didn't it? I thought we'd all worked out by now that we're not responsible for the thoughts. They just happen. What, you think this personal me thought, that's the one that I'm in control of? That just happens too. That's the one you've got to spot. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway. It says things like, yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see that thoughts just come and go. <coughs> I can see it's all just, I can see it's happening. <clears throat> I can see, you know, I've, I don't seem to have free will. I can. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> That's the mind saying that. Not the seeming personal person. It's so spontaneous. Just but you got no idea what you're going to think next. Just what if it just happened? What about all the realizations and the dawnings that we have? Don't they just happen? Or we're going to attribute that to a smart me. I had that realization because oh, I'm smart. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Just see the truth of what's happening. That's all. Yeah. Start to become aware of all the assumptions, all the beliefs, all the concepts that the mind uses and believes. Believes. Catch them and go, hold on a minute. There's a bit of a story going on there. Is any of that based on fact? Challenge it. It's only the truth that will be able to do that. Pull it up. Whoa, what? Like, it, in every moment, I'll make something up. You wake up tomorrow morning, you go, oh, I'm feeling a lot better this morning. God, that talk last night was good. Don't attribute that to the personal self. The mind just said that. Catch it. Catch it. Me is mind. Oh, full stop. Yeah, you know that mind that you're aware of? Now, where are you in relation to the mind? Right here. <laughs> where you've always been. It's just that it's been completely ignored. You know how profound it is that we are conscious? How profound our direct Conscious. Are you what the mind is saying you are? My dear friends, it's just the mind talking to itself. You think it's talking to me. Yourself, the your unpersonal. The mind is talking to itself. You can become acutely aware of that. Acutely aware. The more aware you become of that truth, the more you find yourself here. Then the less significance the mind has and the more significance is this. You don't understand. I've got, I've got, like my inner critic. It's so bad. It just, oh, it's awful the way it speaks to me. That's the mind talking to itself. It's not a critical mind speaking to the me. Me is the mind. Being critical of itself, just mind, just thoughts. <laughs> Isn't it? That's, that, that's your direct experience. You're aware of it. <laughs> that's the key. You're aware of Can't be you. You're aware of it. It can't be you. Sorry about the bad news. <laughs> can't be you. Let it go. Let it go. Fuck man, let it go. <laughs> What's going on here? What? 
What is this? I am conscious. Thanks, Matt. That would have been really helpful. To that line of that dialogue would have been really helpful for everybody. No problem. <laughs>